Hey booktube, this is Top 5 Wednesday. I got my ticket for the long way round. This week we're talking about books that concluded a series but that were terrible. Terrible ending to a series. And believe it or not, I know, please don't fall over dead, but I came up with actually four and one that's kind of a special case. It's my number one book, but uh, yeah, I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, go me. Only five. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just tell you what they are. First of all, number five, this is on everybody's list, and that is Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Uh, none of these books I can really tell you much about because we get into spoiler territory, but suffice it to say that this book did not conclude the series well. It, uh, the last little bit of the book was the worst part for me, and um, that's setting everything else aside. So I'll be interested to see what they do with this movie because, hmm, I just didn't care for the book. So that was number five. Number four is Unraveled, which is the third book in the um, Cruel series. Unraveled was a huge disappointment to me. Um, it was slow. They, she threw a lot of new characters in that were highly underdeveloped, and it was just a huge missed opportunity. And I was so disappointed because this book is so good, and Altered, this, the second book in the series, is even better. Yeah. Oh, well. That's, it's just a tragedy. Number three on my list is Requiem by Lauren Oliver. This is book three in the Delirium trilogy, and I am still mad about that. <laughs> it's ridiculous that I could be angry about that, but you know that series ending was just so not what I was expecting. I don't think it was what anybody was expecting. I think a lot of people thought it was okay because they could just live with it, but I, I did not like that ending at all. Now, I like Lauren Oliver's writing a lot, and I've read other things that she's written since then, but that last book was no, 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 no. Went a completely different direction than I expected, and I hate it. I hate that book. I don't use that word very much, hate, but I really hate that book. Number two on my list is Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. This, of course, is the third book in the Hunger Games trilogy. This book made me mad. It made me mad because I think it's all about war and what war does to people. And while I can appreciate a book like that, I just didn't think it belonged in this series. And that's probably not the opinion of most people. I didn't like a lot of what happened here. I suppose I could tell you what I didn't like because the movies are coming out and everything, but I don't want to do that. I will just tell you that there were people that died in this book that I didn't think needed to die. It concluded kind of, I mean, it just kind of felt like it fell short when it concluded. There's an epilogue that tries to save it and it just doesn't. I, I just thought it was weak very weak ending. So hmm, I was really disappointed, even though I've read it twice and listened to it twice. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the series, but this just didn't do it for me. And then number one on my list is kind of um, a different take on this. It is Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. This is book three in the Chaos Walking series. This is a wonderful book. It's an incredible book. And the ending broke my heart. I just felt like Patrick Ness ripped my heart out of my chest and then gave it back to me, you know, stomped on it, ran over it and all that kind of thing, and then handed it back to me. And I love this book. I would highly recommend this series, especially on audio. Um, it's narrated by Nick Podell and he does an amazing job. It's an amazing story. It's, you know, three books, it's epic. And the ending just killed me. It just killed me but in a good way, in a very good way. Anyway, those are my top five worst endings to a series. Let me know if you've done one of these videos because I really would love to watch it. And all of the information about Top 5 Wednesday is down in the box. In fact, you know, I always link all the books that I talk about in the box, in the description box, so that if you want to go check them out on Goodreads or Audible, you can just click those links. So I don't know if anybody ever looks at those or realizes that. But anyway, that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my walk. You're gonna miss
miss me by my talk. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm 